welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum Part 11. So last time, we dealt with Riddler. But, however, I forgot to do um, the final Amadeus Arkham thing. So I'm going quickly to do that, and then we will attend the party. <laughs> oh me, oh my. Won't it be a blast? <laughs> Why did the warden take off so quick? I thought you told him to stay put. Bum bum bum. Quincy Sharp is uh, the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. My name is Quincy Sharp, the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. You have done well to decipher my story, and I pray it has helped you on your path. I trust that through my writings you will do what is right. Please, I implore you, continue my work. This city deserves a savior. Continue my work. And that is it. <laughs> that is the end. Alright, so... <laughs> Interesting because there's a random mannequin in there. Okay, well... Let's attend the party. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Going to the party. For those wondering, this is within the, um, what you would call it, um, penitentiary. In fact, I'll pull it up on my map. For those wondering, um, you'll find the um, spirit final thing in this room here. I figure I should point that out in case you're just randomly coming into the series on the final episode. Looks silly, but you know what? There you go. Put it on a map. And if you don't know how to get there, just follow my path backwards. There you go. I figured it would be a little redundant since we've already gone through this route so many times to record me walking there. After all, the last episode was all Batman walking. Yeah, sorry about that, but you know what? We got Riddler done. We got most of Amadeus Arkham done, so we could finish it now. So there you go. List only. If your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Let's see. Uh, a. No, that's not right. So it's, uh, B. B. Bane. Ah, here it is. Batman. <laughs> hey, looks like you're the guest of honor. Give him a big welcome, guys. <laughs> There is a trophy to beat up all of those guys, but I already got all of the trophies, so it's kind of redundant for me to do it. Are you excited, Bat? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. Nine. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, 
Bam. Just add a little bit of your spice weasel. Bam. And that was the final patient interview. Enjoy! Wow, he moves quickly. Why didn't you stop Batman? Uh, oh. Me? It was your plan, you goofy clown! <laughs> I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. Alright, now will I die a lot in this? Or will this be? Now we're nearly as hard as the freaking elevator. We'll have to wait and see. Ow! I got bad feeling about this toy. What did you say, Chief? Uh, do what the kid says. even a third into their house. Holy shit! <laughs> Mason, Mason, master, master, Mason, master. Boosh. Mason, Mason, master, master, Mason, Mason, master, master. This is the symbol of your liberation. It's called Big Fat Man. Tee hee. You son of a bitch. You honestly think you'll defeat me? I am Fat Bane, the last opponent you will ever face. Oh shit. Oh boy. Go long! Don't stop that! Ah! You mother hubba. I am so gonna die. But I'm still going to say this, this is still easier than the elevator. Because look at how much damage I've done to both of these Titan guys compared to that one and that cramp fucking floor. Like, oh my god. Here we go. Batter up. 
bad or what? I'm not sure if I should be upset that this other guy's just smacking this guy constantly, but he's still doing damage to them, so I guess it's sort of a win. I guess. Run away! Run away! Holy No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> Why didn't you just do that? The one guy. Why? 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 Fuck you. It's close. So do not care. I am going to take you down. What the fuck? No, I hit a vein. Do not pull this horse shit on me now. Hmm? Do not pull a like Arkham Origin. Fucking work. Do not piss me off. Because the first step is to not do what you're told to. The easiest way to piss me off. Of course, you always run directly into the closest nearest Titan fellow when you can. And why can't you ever evade when I tell you to evade, huh? No. Can't do it? Really? Oh, that's weird. Okay, what the actual fuck? I hit punch, but yet you refuse to punch. Is this really going to be another rage video? I don't have the energy for this. Don't waste my time, please. Pretty, please. Put the cherry on top. Alakazam! Allow me to punch you in the face. But I am too awesome. So I'm just going to sit back and I'll let him do the punching. Hey, did somebody forgot the punch? Because I got funky. Over, over, over. Boom! Do you mind? The, the thing that makes this a bit easier than the elevator fight, or at least I think, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still doing fucking terribly. But the thing that makes it easier is that there's two types of monsters. And that doesn't make a lot of sense, but bear with me to explain. There are two for you to beat frog from. And you, if you're good enough, you can at least time it right. Or, um... So both of them can, like, hit each other in the face nice and well. Like, now I'll climb onto him, and now he's almost down. Like, this is going quite well. Like, I wish I had more health, but I mean, like, in hindsight, or like, it being on hard, and I'm not very good at this game's combat, not too bad. But, but, uh, why doesn't the game just take them down? Why? Why? 
Won't you die? Like, you see why I'm getting frustrated? It's not that it's hard. It's not. I've come how close to beating this freaking portion already? Like, every time. I've come really freaking close. It's just, I keep taking stupid fucking hit, and I end up paying for it. And I'm not paying attention for, uh, combat, like, opportunities to, like, counter. But the problem here is that I punch the Titan guy to take them down, but yet the game doesn't want me, like, doesn't want to take them down. Like, it's actually kind of really head-scratching, being like, how many punches do I need to punch in this guy's freaking head for this game to go, oh yeah, you, you, you want to take him down? Oh yeah, do that. That's where I keep dying, because it's like, seriously? Seriously? Come on. Uh, at least now, with, uh... Come on, get over here! Okay, now, let's do a takedown. I hate how your combo doesn't really want to work with the Titan guys. Unless, like, you're super close. Like, all it takes is one tap of the square button for you to hop on them. I just don't get why you need to really spend so much time uh, focusing on, like, trying to get on top, like, to finish them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing much better this go around. But now watch, I just jinx it. Because of science! But I'm also, uh, getting better evading the opportunity, too. Oh, fuck you. Uh, 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 uh. You should not do that! Have enemies come up to punch me, but then have the Titan guy fucking punch me mid-counter. That is bullshit, and you know it. Especially by the fact that no other enemies pull that kind of shit on you. And fuck you, I hit you. What the- Do you mind? Like, fuck off. Where are you? No, 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 no! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> but I was hitting a face! Cheating fact of shit and oh my god, everything! Ah, would you just fucking die in a fucking motherfucking fuck? Jeff, you guy. <laughs> really? Is that that's it? I just needed to take. Okay. Nicely done, Bats. You deserve a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! <laughs> Batman! Get away! Here 
Here we go. We're gonna have some fun now, kitties. You're trying to resist the change. That's not fair. <laughs> Come on, get in. <laughs> so, you wanna play hardball bats? Do ya? You? Your call. <laughs> pickle, pickle. No. Oh, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper! I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it. Giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. <laughs> Arkham Asylum remains under lockdown, its staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham! Joker here! Arkham is mine! Soon, I'll at least end as a toll to the street of Gotham. Circling the tower since the wait there Joker is making his move. spoil my fun, and for that, I'll paint Arkham with your blood. Let's get ready to tango! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, one of the biggest controversies over this game is the final boss fight. A lot of people say it was kind of weak by the fact that Joker just kind of holds out. Which isn't an unfair criticism, but me personally, I felt it kind of worked, especially given the situation. Why doesn't Evade ever work as a substitute for fucking countering? I thought that was the point of Evade. You know? Like, seriously, what the hell? Why there? Why not the guy? Like, five feet away from everyone. Oh no, why was the multiple battering? Hey. Okay, so uh, be sure not to fuck up this uh, tapping portion. Because otherwise, Joker just send in another round of goons. Which, uh, depending on how good you are at the combat system of this game, could actually be, um. Well, basically, a level ending. Like, Batman will probably die, so be very wary of that. So the best way to evade them is don't half-hack, just run. 
just run around in a circle and you should be fine. So, uh, good tip. Um, use as many uh, combo takedowns as you can. And, oh my fucking god. Well, at least these assholes can't block battering, huh? Oh shit! Fuck those teeth, man. But yeah, like, you see what I mean by how uh, for the final fight, like, elevator, poison ice. Oh, what the? What? <laughs> I thought it was locked on, but what? Okay, so, exactly what I mean, like, do not fuck that last bit up. Take down these guys as quickly as you can, or else, uh, be prepared to, uh, fight more guys. This isn't as many as I remember there being, like, by fucking up, but even still, it's more than you probably want, although by uh, defeating Brown the Goon, you do get more health back if you do it right, because I'm noticing how I gain more health than at some point. So, probably after, every time you pull Joker down, if I recall. Oh crap, oh my god, ew. I fucking hate how, like, is that, sh like, shoulder bones? Are those, like, fucking zits? Like, oh my god. Think you can beat me? make me laugh. Nasty shit, man. They toned it down a lot in Arkham City, which I'm grateful for. But holy Can shit, come, ew. New one for At me. least you guys got this in high res, so there you go. And the joys about this uh, slightly older editing program thing versus like. Oh, fuck you! Like, versus the other system I had, is that this at least looks like 20 times better. Like, frame rate's good. Everything. Holy teeth! Would you, like, legitimately fuck off? Holy shit! No! 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 Oh, fuck you in the ear, man. Jack Ryder, can you hear me? I've got a message for all my adoring fans in Gotham. This won't stop me. Pulling, pulling, pulling you down. Hey, let me bring you down, oh. for yo. <laughs> I can take it. I can take anything you throw at me, Bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. <laughs> Thank God for that explosive gel upgrade. CPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom-enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. 
Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. So that was Batman Arkham Asylum. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. Like naturally, like I complain about the combat system, but keep in mind this is on hard and I am a little rusty to the combat system. So frankly, it's not a bad game, like even after all of these years. So you can probably pick up a new copy for like $20, or heck if you're one of those people, you can pick it up used for maybe $15, I've seen it around for $15. Yeah, uh, hopefully you can hear me with this audio level, I adjusted it a little, so hopefully it works a bit better. So, yeah, like, I don't know what else I can talk about. Like, I figure we'll go to the Arkham Mansion, finally do that Quincy Sharp Easter egg for Arkham City, and then maybe do some challenge maps. But of course, let the credits play. Because, you know what, that is the fair thing to do, I th or at least I think. Let everyone who worked hard on the game get their name in there. You know? Written by Paul Dini. Hey, we already seen that picture. I want a refund. God, poor John there. He must have got, like, quite the beating back at school. Oh. Anthony Price. Okay. See, I didn't know that. I, I honestly thought, for whatever silly reason, Rocksteady published their own games, but guess not. See, sometimes paying attention to the credits pays off. I have no idea what that even is. Is that like a Venom symbiote? Maybe that easter egg that we tripped over uh, pertaining to Riddler's location. Maybe it was a reference to that uh, O'Neill guy in these credits that we just saw. Hard to say, but chances are it's related to the writer. Actually, you know what? While we have some downtime, I'll quickly look that up. 
Is it Danny O'Neill or um, Coming up. Yeah. So Danny O'Neill is a person. But what about Dennis O'Neill? Or did I make that name up? Okay, so um, I'm getting images for both of the same guy and same comic panels. So, um, maybe they're the same? Actually, the what? Oh, wait. Here we go. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to check the Wikipedia page, Ben. Dennis O'Neill. And then... I was right. They are the same person. I feel slightly less of an idiot. However, I feel like more of an idiot because I had to double check. But hey, you know what? There we go. The more you know. And for those wondering, this is uh, being recorded the same night as um, the second uh, Skyrim Dongar DLC video. As well as, um, part 10 of Batman Arkham Asylum, so. I had quite a bit of free time this evening, so I figured with, uh, going back to this older system, it's a bit easier and quicker to do multiple, uh, episodes. So, if you're watching this, chances are I uploaded this a bit later than... Um, the other parts, naturally, because if I upload all of them at once, well, no, like, views, for whatever reason, tend to not work as well, like, videos that are less popular don't get nowhere nearly as much views, you know? And I'm not saying that I do that just for views, but I also want to make sure that most people can sit down and enjoy my videos. So, there is a tip for you, uh, oh, Jim Lee, cool, anyway, English cast list, here we go, or not, I thought these would have been actors, but I guess, oh, here we go, wow, See, not Tara Strong. Everyone, fuck off. Tara Strong didn't get the role of Harley Quinn until Arkham City. Like, she played Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, in the New Adventures. Like, but, like, I don't know where people got this confused. And it's happened a lot. Happened by a lot of popular YouTubers, too, where if they were talking about Tara Strong and, like, being Harley Quinn, they would show footage from this game. It's like, that wasn't Tara Strong. Like, you, you, send the game. Here you go. If you thought otherwise, well, here you go. German cat. Oh, that's interesting. It's interesting how they would get, like, a different cast. Like, 
understandable because not every person knows like German. I don't know German, so. But it's just interesting how some actors, like, if they know. Bonus Easter egg. Wait for it. Wait for it. And I'm guessing that's the hook for Arkham Knight. Because we haven't really had anything to do with that yet. Alright, so here we go. Um, okay, so it just took us right out of the game. So, how about this? I'll do some challenges and then uh, maybe run to our mansion. Yeah, I don't know what I'll play this one. Keep in mind, I kind of suck at this, so... Like, uh, Joker is a lot harder to play than Batman. Get out of here, Cash! Do your worst! I figured since this is... Hold on. Controller's being silly. For those who ever had a PlayStation, do you ever get the problem where, um... Where you have your controller charging on your USB cord, but then you go to unplug it, but for whatever reason, they went ahead and went, LOL, no. Like, it won't connect. Like, it only happens to me every so often. this game it does have a number of the telltale clunkiness from origins although i'm giving this game a bit more of a break only because it is older only because it is older and it was really the first time we've ever like ever seen this kind of My silence shows I'm distressed. And quite frustrated and fuck you in the ear. Don't take your eyes off it! Ugh. Still going to give this game a bit more of a break. Like, the controls are perfectly fine, it's just. You really gotta be on the toe. And Origins had quite a bit more of that, too. Like, it's hard to explain without showing you. Which I kind of tried to do with Varan. I know I'm drawing a lot of comparisons to that game. Especially now, more than ever. But when I did the rant video, I didn't play Arkham Asylum until, like, quite a long time ago. Like, it, it was a long time, so, to play this game and go, wow, I used to be really good at this. And for it to be, like, super clunky now, either tells me one of two things. I either suck. At this combat system that might pose a bit more of a challenge. Or both origins in this game are just a little funky. Hard to say. But I mean, like, I've done some pretty devastating uh, combos in Arkham City. And actually in Origins, hey, too. But... The security in this place is atrocious! But that's pretty much. Um, for, like, with Origins, good combos. That's mostly because of the shock gloves. Those are pretty great. Hold on. 
I did better than Bruce Wayne. That's kind of funny. Okay. I won't be doing all of these, by the way. Mostly because even before I was doing Let's Plays and stuff like that, even in my prime of this game, I still couldn't do this. Like, all of these? If you want to see, like, a pro do this, freaking look it up. I remember checking out either Rooster Teeth or IGN's uh, playthrough of even this one. It was freaking great. Here, I'm just having fun and kind of enjoying myself. Because that were, no other game really lets you play as the Joker. It's actually kind of sad. This is just so weird because... Man, like, wow, this is... What the? What the? Joker's here! Ow, 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 ow! Get it, Selrin. Shit! You'll never win, Joker. I'll always be here to stop you. Actually, what did you do, Batman? Hmm? Yeah, that's quite fun. Time to make this place a little less boring. Catch me if you can. So, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip this off. Because that always takes the longest. Do that. They should all come because that was a lot of boom. Oh god, I lost him. Hold it. I'm coming with you. Spread out! Oh god! I found someone over here! Now, according to the IGN video that I saw that I was kind of ripping off there, all of them were supposed to immediately run to the air duct. That did not work. This is not good. Ow! Holy! Holy shit, this is kind of fun. Just like letting them do flips. This was kind of unfortunate that this was a PlayStation 3 exclusive. So like Xbox players and I think even PC players couldn't use this. But there might have been a mod for it. Who knows? Because, you know, PC users, they always know how to make a mod for something. That is one pro I'll give PC gamers. Like, having a PC for gaming over consoles is... If you want more content, there's, there's usually... Like, if the game's popular enough and well-received enough... Like, even if it's not technically that good of a game... Like, take Skyrim, for example. There's a lot of flaws with that game. But it's still a lot of fun. So people went ahead and did what they could to fix it. And like add to it and do a whole bunch of awesome. That's pretty good. Yeah, with the Joker stuff, it's not so much like your typical thing. They just kind of went ahead and went... Who's there? They just kind of went ahead and just kind of said, Alright, this is your challenge. See if you can outdo... <laughs> See if you can do outdo everyone in the entire PlayStation 3 community. Joker. I'll always be here to stop you. I'll do another one because, yeah, this is all for fun. Uh, what do I feel like doing? That was bullshit. If you want to see a good one, check out Batman Arkham videos. If I recall, he or she did a really good job at this. 
Um, you know what? Nah. I think I'm good for that. Uh, let's do some downloadable maps. For those who are really retro with my channel, you'll remember me doing this. Um, I might redo that. That's obviously not the same save file since you last saw that, but yeah. Um, let's do Scarecrow. Even though Halloween passed a quite a bit ago now, but hey, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's put me to the metal. And here is the armor suit. Welcome to my world, Batman. The thing that I like about these challenge maps is they still have the count icon, so it's a wee bit uh, better for um, uh, dealing with this stuff, especially since the fact that this is the challenge where uh, one hit and then you're dead. Yeah, this is like one of those going to be hardcore. I'm going to save every moment of your terror as I slowly destroy you. Whoa, one, why didn't that hit anything? Two, why didn't that hit anything? I look a bam, let us break you. is a bit more stressful only because it is like if you let any of them hit you well um, shit good luck with that you gotta tear it over or just go with the score you got so naturally uh the torches are a stand-in for the cave what i hit triangle I shit you not, I hit triangle. Not doing it, guys. Not getting this angry. But no, I hit tri- Goes to show how few people actually tried that. Oh, okay. I was looking at my scores thinking, wow, that's my rank? No, wait, no, what? Hold on. Which is which? Okay, so maybe... No, that doesn't make sense. Whoa, hold, hold on. At one point, did I really get... 2,000... No, like 27... Like over 27,000? I can't... No. That, oh my god. Really? I got that high as a score, yo? Told you guys, I was pretty good at this back in the day. Let's see, what did I get on this? A little bit better than what I got earlier tonight, actually. Okay. Okay, apparently I got no score on this. Batman World Hero. Seven, wow, that, dude. There you go. Shout out for Batman World Hero. Hmm, great score. What's my, wow, hold on. I almost did as good as I did how many years ago that I did that. And I wasn't really even trying. Guys, maybe I'm not as bad at this game than I thought I was. Like, comparing it to, like, how I used to be. I've only... Wow. 
kind of makes me feel a little better. Like, here I thought I was like some kind of god. But, but now I feel on a level. So, as promised, let's go through the character bios. Batman. I won't read these to you only because it's going to be a lot of reading and I tend to stubble over my words, so. Let's just go through this. Feel free to pause uh, the video in case you feel like I'm going too quickly through this. But I figure move fairly quickly, like quickly enough for people to be able to pause it and read it, but not too quickly where things are just like, oh, great. Aaron Cash. Dr. Young. Actually, I should read this because it's been a while. Pen uh, Penny Young was always a brilliant student who was prepared to do anything to advance professionally. She has built up her reputation for being cold a calculating woman, focused only on the project at hand. She was hired at Arkham Asylum by Warden Quincy Sharp to head up the Arkham's research, research development and uh, finally restored stan uh, and finally to restore sanity to more deranged of Gotham City supervillains. Okay. Killer Croc. I figure there's no point in playing the interview tapes because if you've been following along, you've heard all of them already. Because those are the few things I actually went ahead and played, like, let played, or went, uh, pff, screw you! The stupid, uh, uh, yeah, what the, uh, what is... whatever. Catwoman? Kind of looks like, um, very much like, um, Batman Returns Catwoman with a bit of Jim Lee. The Penguin? Like, see, this is where Arkham City kind of just really was a little weird because Penguin seems to have hair about as long as mine. Yeah, about as long as mine. Like, short, and that appears to be a monocle, but from this angle, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, it just seems weird how, like, the only thing that really, really st stuck with, like, the design of Arkham City was, like, the fur coat and, like, his height and hair color. And I guess it's Wade, but that's nice. Actually, did I go through that? I think I did. Wait, what was that? Okay, it's like, wait. Expert to hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Wait, what? Hold on. He can fight? Like, like, he knows how to fight. Not like just use guns, but like actually knows how to punch people. We haven't seen anything supporting that in any other Arkham game. What the hell? In fact, the closest thing to that we've ever seen, or at least I've seen, it's like in Batman Returns. And like maybe Batman... 
Wow. Like, wow, that is weird. But anyways, Spain. For those who don't know, Bane is one of my favorite villains, uh, like, within the top five of my favorite Batman villains. So, Harley Quinn, Bane, Mr. Freeze, Rachel Ghoul, Joker, and I sent Rachel Ghoul, Joker, Harley Quinn, Mr. F yeah, five. There we go. Scarface. This is an interesting story. I suggest you read this one. Jack Ryder. Two Face. Prometheus. Maxi Zeus. Hush. Mad Hatter. Honestly, that's a little different than what we've seen from in-game. But honestly, seeing how all of these, like, illustrations are a little different, that's still fairly accurate. Fairly. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just reading this quickly in my head because every so often I just like to get a brief read. Okay. Uh, the Great White Shark. He kind of looks like Black Mask, but not if, if you see. The Ventiloquist. Clayface. Humpty Dumpty. Arkham Asylum, Living Hell, number one. The Rat Catcher. Hugo Strange. Black Mask. Surprisingly, that's quite spot on for what we saw in Arkham City. Like, spot on. I, I gotta say, that's great. Wait, Hair None? Hair None! Maybe the ma maybe that illustration is for Roman when the mask is like burnt onto his face, maybe? Maybe? I always love that illustration of Firefly. It's so cool. Uh, Twiddle Dee and Twiddle Dum. I'm guessing. Th Hold on. I wonder if they ever worked with the Mad Hatter. Okay, Spirit of Arkham, why not? Amadeus Arkham. Hey, he dresses like me. Calendar Man. Can I just say, that looks way cooler than what we saw in Arkham City. I know they were trying to make him really scary in the game, but I mean, like, I would have loved to seen that. Exactly like that. 
But then again, that's more like the comic book calendar man, but whatever. Alright, so character trophies. Because we might as well see them. Because they're there, and they are un <laughs> unlockable, so may as well. So we got our wonderful Joker. Titan Power Joker. Yeah, this guy. That's Bone Man. Ugh. God. Ew. Ugh. Am I the only one that's bothered by this? Like, really? Like, when I first played this game, I was like, whatever. But revisiting this is like, oh, oh. Hello, nurse. So we got Harley Quinn. Like, she got nice boots. She got nice guns, I guess. If you look closely, there's the warden ID. And also there's boobs. Yes, guys, get it out of your system. Boobs. 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 Boots. Poison Ivy. We got our typical green lady full of weird plant things. Wanna know why I thought about this. I figured out why I can't find Poison Ivy sexy. Have you guys ever seen the movie The Ruins? Where there's the plants that like invade your body and kind of like kill you from the inside out? Like... They root themselves into your veins and, like, underneath your skin and, like, the only way to save yourself is to physically cut yourself open and rip all of them out. Ugh. Here for Titan guy. But yeah, the ruins, man. It, that's when I discovered I didn't like gore movies. Not that they were scary, it's just, it turns out I don't like obsessive gore, and like, it's weird, like, I don't flinch, but I go, oh, oh, ugh. So we have another, uh, Joker kind of thing, but with the bonus of Scarface. Kill a croc. So... Fairly nice. Muddy feet. Not much of a bum, but quite a good shorter structure. Quite presentable for a lady. Or maybe a baby doll. Hmm? And then we got Bane. I guess he shot at the same place Killer Croc does for pants. Once again, like, Bane, his, like, tubing and stuff doesn't bug me nowhere nearly as much as, like, the Titan stuff. Because, like, yeah, that doesn't look good to me, but, like, it looks alright-ish. Also, hold on. That doesn't really look like the thing we saw in Origins, but whatever. So, Batman. Typical Batman. Nothing special, just some tears in a suit. Then armored Batman. Yeah, honestly, I don't know why they made a whole game centered around this uh, suit idea. Like, I know with Batman Arkham City Armored Edition, like, in hindsight, nothing special. Like, it was just... Arkham City with the new paint job. I mean, like, even still. Yeah, Victor Vaz. Um, he's one of the creepier uh, villains in the game, if you haven't figured it out. Mostly because, like, uh, what the behind the scenes of this game say. He could actually probably be the most realistic out of all of them. Is that a... Is 
that a guy wearing eyeliner or is that a lady? I think this is a lady. Although, like, I know women are allowed to have short hair too, but I mean, like, it's just kind of weird because, like, she has the same hairdo as this guy here. I, I don't. Trainee. Trainee. Andrea. Oh. Is that last name first name? Mara. Versus. Zemar? Zemar? Whatever. What in Quincy Sharp? Aw, so close to Remembrance Day. Good job, Warden. So nothing special, he's just there with his cane. Being old and psychotic. Commissioner Gordon. It's funny, does he ever wear the hat that we see in this? Like, anywhere in-game? I, I don't think so. Although, I really do like his outfit. It's quite badass. It's like a western kind of sheriff. Minus the cowboy hat for a fedora. Yay! For every person who makes fun of the fedora, I say screw you. Fedoras are awesome. Unless you're worn by idiots. And it's usually the idiots giving the fedora a bad name. Like me, I'm pretty much a great idiot. However, I admit it. There's the difference. The more you know. Da, 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 da. So we got our inmates. Hate these guys. Really hate them. And my god. Ugh. Good gravy golly. Blackgate prisoners. Yes! The fire rises. I won't be able to do this impression logically ever again because I do not appear again until I end up dead in Arkham City. So we got like your bold, typical dudes. The Batmobile. With Batman inside. When they announced the Batmobile in Arkham Knight, I was super pumped. And then it wasn't this, and I was like, oh, come on. Give us this. There better be, like, some kind of Batmobile uh, skins. Because I really want the Batmobile, not this Nolan-ish tank. You know what I mean? Am I the only one that feels that way? The bat plane. I will admit, I love this bat plane design way more than the one we got in Arkham City. Origins, I like that one, although very military, which is a on. But this one screams like traditional bat plane, and I love it. Scarecrow. So naturally, we got our typical scarecrow guy. Although, one thing that I find absolutely interesting is his skin is, like, underneath the mask, gray. But if you look, his eyes are black. They're black. Are those, like, contact lenses? Who knows? I do not know. I don't. So, before I wrap up this uh, video... I just want to do the final thing. The final thing. Go to Quincy Sharp's office and let's do this thing. I'm going to miss this game to be honest. Like a lot of people complain about the visuals. The visuals don't bother me, like, not at all. The controls, I'll admit, are a little clunkier than I remember. 
especially on harder difficulties and later on in the game. But know what? Honestly, the only way that, like, the best way to fix that is either be better at the game or uh, play it on normal or if, or heck, even easy. I won't judge ya. First time I played this game, I played it on easy, so why not? Like, those people, like, those gamers who discredit other gamers for playing a game on easy or normal. Honestly, those guys are just being assholes. Like, like, I'm, I'm playing this game on hard. But I'm not going to look down on you for not playing it on hard. Like, hard, to me at least, is... You played the game, like, once, maybe twice, and you love it. Like, you can't get enough of it. But you still want more. You still want to be challenged because you know what's coming. So that's where hard mode comes in. It's kind of like... It's like New Game Plus without, like, happening, like having all of your equipment with you from, like, the get-go. It, it's just one of those things where it's like, yes... Like, the first time I played Origins all the way through, I was like, you know what, no, I'm a veteran at these Batman games. I'm going to do this on hard. And I did. Like, I, I beat Origins on hard, so. But that doesn't mean you can't. Like, I won't shit on you for not playing it on hard. Like... I encounter so many people who almost look down on other people for wanting to do things a bit easier, like whether it's game or not. Finally, you work. Only took you 12 years. Like, I don't know. Like, it's such a mini rant to go on about, but it does bug me. It really does. So, this map here does bug me, because this map would suggest that you would get Arkham Asylum plus Bit of Gotham to play in. Like, approved. But yeah, we don't get it. Like, so, it's just kind of head-scratching. We get some concept art from Arkham City, like the city gate. It's called Arkham Asylum here because I guess, um, I guess they didn't come up with the name Arkham City yet. Like Rock City, I mean. Joker caught. So, this is clearly meant to be taking place after the fact, but it's still pretty neat. We've got some blueprints. The only reason why I'm a little skeptical that this is Quincy Sharp's, like, main office, secret office thing, is the chair's not comfortable. Look at that. It's wood. Mind you, I'm sitting on a wood chair, but, I mean, like, he seems like... How big is this fucker's ego at... Hold, hold on. Hold on. He has not one, but two statues of himself. In his secret goddamn room where nobody would know where he is. What the f What? And he has a portrait? He has it. Like, the TV makes sense, but, like, maybe, like, he tunes in at, like, 3 o'clock for his, like, TV hour show to talk to the patient. So he could be sitting in his chair, surrounded by him. This guy has such a big fucking ego. Holy shit. Like, having portraits and, like, having a statue of you over here. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Because, like, people come and go. They, they do the shit. And also, holy fuck, they need a better organizing system. You cannot tell me this was all Joker. Like, really? All of it. The stain certainly couldn't be joke. Well, actually, it, 
don't want to know what those stains are, but either way. So, yeah, end the series with a rant. Well, not quite a rant, but like, uh, what the hell? But yeah, so Secret Room. Probably one of the coolest easter eggs I've ever encountered in my video game career. Like, Scarecrow's barge was cool, but this just, this seemed better because it had so much, it told you so much, but it left so much mystery, which I really loved. I guess the reason why they put so much Quincy Sharp stuff in here, actually thinking about it, to really hammer it in, this is Quincy Sharp's secret room. Maybe it's where he jerks off, but no. Like, this is his office. Mind you, I don't know where he sits. Like, maybe he just goes from desk to desk. I don't know. I'm trying to theorize a game where a riot happened. Probably not the best idea. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And since this is the end of Arkham Asylum, um, I probably will, well, I will definitely do Arkham City, but if I do Origins, um, I might do it next, maybe? I don't know. This has been a long video. Holy buds. So long that I gotta say, thank you for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and gals next time.